One minute the press is discussing that, you know, Kate is doing very well with health updates and the other part of the press are continuously discussing a upcoming horrific divorce. What is going on? Hey guys, it's Marab Marabi. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Just one click to subscribe. And let's get straight into this mess because a lot is going on. So in touch are discussing on the front of their magazine. Bear in mind, guys, this is the third video where I've discussed separate magazines having Kate and William on the front of their covers discussing divorce related situations. Kate takes off her ring. William fights for his marriage. Um, is it over? Well, Kate takes off a ring is a far fetched to believe because why would they put out a consciously edited fake picture? Um, blame it on Kate and there's no ring in the picture. Ain't no way they publicly put up that fake picture with no ring. Try and not put out a signal of something going on or a hint. Um, new fair a rumor and cruel cover up. The embattled princess takes historic action to protect her kids, her title and her future as palace staff scramble to hide the truth. Um, so, you know, this is a conversation falling out of love 25 years later and, you know, they're in the front cover. Again, press are discussing, you know, divorce related rumors, divorce conversations. I haven't seen this much conversation about divorce when it comes to Kate and William ever or so many front cover magazines, whether it's fodder or not, how many magazines are speaking about this and why? This is a fresh new magazine article discussing this yet again. What, you know, Kate taking off her ring trying to protect the kids. I don't know, man, but this is what happens when you don't see them for a very long time in any capacity at all. Whilst I understand the conversation of, oh, you know, Kate Middleton is suffering from cancer, we should be more empathetic because she has children, she's weak and etc. Kate is not the ordinary woman in the UK. The ordinary woman in the ordinary woman in the UK, you know, fighting, you know, cancer isn't going to be rushed into hospital as quickly and have the appropriate medical supplies and services because she's not the queen to be of England. Therefore, Kate Middleton is at a significant large advantage than the ordinary woman in the UK. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes, classism, you know, and et cetera, et cetera, first and foremost. Second and foremost, Kate Middleton has a large abundance of wealth around her, looking after her, taking care of her, giving her the best medical needs um, that an, old, an ordinary woman won't even have anyways. The woman in the UK would, would be finding it hard to get cancer, healthcare, and then on top of that, good healthcare as well, is what I'm trying to state. Then you're comparing Kate Middleton, who is the queen to be of the United Kingdom to an ordinary woman. It's not the same. So you can't make these comparisons um, in any capacity. One can be empathetic, but also understand that, you know, the public need answers. Trying to present no presence of Kate Middleton saying respect to health, respect this will never work. It's not sufficient. There's no, that's not a productive answer because she is the queen to be of a nation and the nation are going to just be asking, where is this woman? We are worried for her. What is going on? What are the UK press and the royal family lying about? Because if we look at history, which never lies, the royal family have a significant large history in lying, let alone what happened to Diana and how she was treated. So when you connect the dots, people are going to ask questions. I absolutely categorically refute the idea that people should be reprimanded for asking where a, the queen to be is because she's been diagnosed with cancer or has preventative treatment, etc. That is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not falling for that gaslighting UK mentality, which we initially tried to fall for when they came at us and etc. We're not doing that again. So for those who are saying, oh my God, she's exhausted, like imagine how she feels. I'm sure she's exhausted, but the two, two things can coexist. She probably is exhausted from whatever the hell she's going through. And the public's exhausted on a, on a different level because we don't know what the hell's going on. And it's just all very bizarre and confusing because the woman has not been seen from end of December to now. It's not even a year. And William is no longer going on a trip to Samoa to, in, um, in October because he needs to be there for Kate as if Kate's health is depleting or something's going on with her, or, you know, I don't know what, it doesn't make any sense. US Weekly are discussing how the Prince William is under significant pressure um, because a lot is going on. He's coping with a very sick wife and father, and he faces inheriting the crumbling monarchy. And of course, you know, the family of Kate is riddled with debt. So this is what the US Weekly News are reporting. I am personally looking at news articles that are not the UK press because the UK press we know has a leash collar on whatever on the royal family. They both work together. It's all royal propaganda. The UK is known for propaganda and many are, and many are countries all over the world, though, especially when it comes to the wars. 
that's what people do. But again, divorce conversations and talks are being, you know, claimed in these articles that Kate has taken off her ring. Kate is doing the most to protect her kids and her children. We don't know what is going on. What we do know is that this woman, Kate, is missing. We have, she has not been seen for a very long time. A Spanish press came out and said that she was in a coma um, and that she hasn't been doing well, a medically induced coma. Nobody knows where she is. We have not received any sufficient answers. What I'm trying to say to you guys is that the UK public are not going to rest until they find out what is going on with the queen to be. If Queen Elizabeth suddenly disappeared, Diana disappeared, people will be asking where the hell are these women? Just because they're dealing with a health issue doesn't mean we can't ask what is going on. We don't need to know the health issue and the medical privacy intricacies because every human is entitled to medical privacy, but we need to know where this woman is. So it doesn't make any sense. It honestly doesn't. That, that cancer video had way too many AI sketches that were highlighted that has made me look at things twice i do think prince william has probably done something in my in my opinion i feel like his rage that was being documented by several uk press publications was very odd to see and i think the uk press they have a secret language with the public they have a secret language with the public if we analyze the uk press for a second they really like to dangle information in your face but hide it so they give you hints, they give you teasers, they show things a little bit and then they hide it away or they show you something, a glimpse of things and then they immediately distract by making you feel ashamed or etc. Because the way that they were ushering in Rose Hanbury everywhere on those articles but then suddenly blamed the public doesn't make any sense. And that's just one example. They've been ushering in so much about Kate and William here and there. They dangle things here and there and it suddenly just disappears. It doesn't make any sense. Now, when it comes to GB News, a particular, you know, um, news cable channel online that has been very hateful of Meghan and Harry, um, they've announced a significant large portion of job losses. A large amount of people are going to be cut and be fired because there's been a loss in profits and that is only going to continue. When you cut a lot of jobs, that is only going to continue. You would have thought just cutting down Wilson would have been enough, but clearly not, and I'm glad. More people are going to be cut from that particular cable channel because it doesn't make any sense. You would have thought fueling your channel by hating on Harry, hating on Meghan would have been would have been profitable when that's just simply not the case. And fueling so much racist, ridiculous agendas and narratives, which is absolutely barbaric from what I've seen, like no logical thinking, which is quite scary. And they're cutting all of these jobs. They're cutting all of these jobs because none of it makes any money because nobody wants to watch any of that nonsense, propaganda, BS crap. People aren't falling for it, guys. Like. You can see from the stats, the numbers don't lie. They're being fired left, right and center. And I just find it to be absolutely like, it's just karmic energy. It's hilarious. It doesn't make any sense to me as to why they thought they could even carry on and go this far. But if they are reporting a significant large amount of people being cut from their jobs, that is only going to grow. They need to cut those jobs so that they can save the money and not spend too much and spend on X, Y, Z. But eventually they will need to cut even more people and more people and it's going down that route. Murdoch's lost, has experienced losses in all alleyways of work that he does in regards to newspapers, cable channels and etc. talk TV. But like it's all being lost here and there because these narratives, the people aren't buying into it. It looks like they are online, but they're not buying into it. They're really not. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. That is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Just one click to subscribe. It's just one click to subscribe. And I will catch you guys soon for another video.